My thought for this week is preparing for the fires of change. I began preparing for fire ceremony at a very early age. A significant death happened when I was a young man. One of my best friends took an overdose of insulin. He went into a coma for three months and then he passed into spirit. Now, when the funeral was arranged, his parents who had rejected him in life, rejected his friends in death. They had kicked him out of the house. They wanted nothing to do with him. And then when they organized the funeral, they told all of his friends that they weren't welcome. Well, what I realized was my good friend Paul wasn't going to be at that funeral anyway. He'd passed. Oh, his body was there, but he wasn't. So I chose not to attend something where I knew his parents had animosity towards his friends. And I chose to go and celebrate Paul in a different way. For I heard the voice of Spirit. And Spirit asked me to light a fire. Now, I was living in my parents' house at the time. And they'd gone away on holiday. And I'd invited my friends around. And I set and lit a fire. Something called me to continue tending that fire. And, and I was feeding the fire. I was feeding the fire with love. And I was also putting pieces of food into the fire. And I saw this fire as a fire to light the way for my friend to go home. And I sat by it through the night. And it was really important not to let this fire go out. And as I journeyed into the fire, because flames will take you on a journey, I felt the love and compassion of my friend. We had dressed up as the pirates of Penzance. <laughs> we literally dressed up as pirates and drove from Bury St Edmunds down to Cornwall so that we could walk around being the pirates of Penzance for a weekend. I loved to go on adventures, did then and I do now. And my friend Paul and I were meant to be sharing a tent. Uh, he had brought it, but he forgot the, the outer cover and the inner cover had been eaten by moths and had holes in. So we ended up sleeping in the car whilst other friends were sleeping in their tents. And we had such a great time wandering around dressed as pirates. And Paul had borrowed a bandana off me and he had tied it around his head. And I had that bandana. And so I took that bandana and I remember saying, Paul, I love you and I wish you blessings on your way home. And I took the bandana and I put it in the fire. And then the most amazing thing happened. It started to hover above the flames. And as it burned, because it did burn, it was hovering and burning. And there was the middle piece that didn't burn. It, it kept hovering and then whoosh, it flew up the chimney and I laughed and I went, yeah, that was Paul going, and that piece is mine. <laughs> what I love as I've journeyed in life is I, I love names and Paul's name, Paul King. Paul, one of the meanings of Paul is humble. And so the humble king, he took me to the fire and I helped him to go home. Now I work deeply with singing home, lost and displaced souls, and I have a huge connection 
to fires, spirit fires. And on the Beltane full moon this May, May the 6th going into May the 7th, for 13 hours, I will be singing the song that sings us, the song of the universe. In the Celtic world, it's called Amran. And I will be placing personal and planetary prayers to feed that fire. I will be singing home lost and displaced souls. And then I will be energizing the dragon lines, the song lines, the ley lines, the grid of the planet. And if you'd like to be a participant, then please send personal and planetary prayers to me at asteed at andrewsteed.com. Your prayers will be kept confidential. I will whisper them into the flames as the song of Amran sings through me through the night for 13 transformational hours. Each hour I will dedicate the round to the beings of the planet, to the water, to the earth, to the air, to the fire, to sovereignty, to the ancestors. And we'll pray on many aspects. So please send in your prayers and help feed the fires of evolution. And if you are called to participate in other ways, you can light fires, hearth fires and candles and join me as I work with spirit flowing through me during this ceremony. There's also an option to join me online through Zoom and actually be beamed in to be with the fire and with myself as Amran is singing through me. If that calls to you, be in touch. Please have prayers in by May the 5th so that I have time to print them out and then I will go into the betwixt and the between where summer and winter, the light half of the year and the dark half of the year, meet under the Beltanar full moon, a place that is a minimal time where magic happens and we get to participate in the co-creation, the evolution of the world.